Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Educational Code Forces Round 150 and the problem is Game with Board. So let's see what the problem states. This problem, we have our favorite friends Alice and Bob here. So they got bored and they started playing a game, okay? So the game rules are very simple. They have like uh, n integers written on some piece of paper, let's assume like that. All these n integers are 1, 1, 1, 1, the natural number 1 okay and uh, first whatever be the case alice goes first and bob plays next they take alternate turns first alice goes then bob plays alice bob so similarly they just play what's the rule yeah i'll tell you so whenever alice is going to play whenever the player plays uh, the player has to choose a set of uh, at least two equal numbers so in this case all are equal here that is the initial array Alice can take these two numbers, remove these numbers from the array and replace it with the sum of those numbers. Okay, so this is at least two. Alice can also take these three numbers, remove this and replace with three. Or Alice can take four numbers and replace it with four. Similarly, after his turn, Bob can come and replace any equal to at least two equal numbers so suppose let's say alice took this and made it as two bob can make this uh, one one as two now alice can again come and make this two two as four or one one as two similarly both of these guys can keep on playing until when a player is not able to make a move the player wins Generally in like normal games what happens like if I am able to make a move I win right but here it's reverse if you are not able to make a move you win so what, when will like uh, a player won't be able to move suppose an array contains 2 3 4 will a player be able to move no the player should have at least two equal numbers to make a move if two equal numbers exist he need to find the sum and then he moves it. Suppose 434, if someone is playing, he need to cancel 44 and mark it as 8. 83, all numbers are distinct, he can't be able to make the move. So let's start from the very basic example. They are asking that if there are n integers, n numbers, everything is 1. If Alice starts first and Bob starts second, then Alice, then Bob, who will win the game if both of the players play optimally? Let's see. So for the first, first, very first example is two, two numbers in the array. Alice is forced to take two of them and mark it as two. Now Bob can't make any move, right? So who wins here? For two numbers, Bob wins. Now let's take for three. Alice can take all the three together. But he, Alice knows that Bob won't be able to make the move. So he won't ideally take three right because bob wins he knows so what he do he does create only he'll convert one one to two only now that is the minimum thing he need to choose now bob since for bob it is one and two both are distinct now again bob wins so is it possible that we need to find all the combinations here and figure out who will be the ideal winner definitely not so through observation Let's say for a very, 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 very big integer, very big n array, all are ones, Alice will go first in all the games, right? Alice will go first in this game also. So what will be Alice's strategy to make Bob lose and make him win? So if there are two equal numbers in the array, Alice or Bob, if they see two equal numbers in the array, they are forced to pick it. So what will Alice do in this case? He can take this too. Bob can take this, Alice, and it will be like a mess. But what Alice is very clever. What he'll do is, he'll take all these numbers together. Logically speaking, he'll take all these numbers together and take the sum of it. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, in Bob's turn, Bob is forced to take this too, right? Bob is forced to take this too because 1, 1 is equal. So he takes two. Alice knows that if Bob takes these two numbers, the numbers will be unequal and Alice wins. Whatever be the number, right? You take this something like this. Leaving two, Alice takes all the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then Bob takes two, the next number. Bob is choiceless. He can't do anything. 
again alice wins alice takes the turn bob is forced to take the turn automatically 2 and 6 are different so alice wins now for big number alice can make sure only two equal numbers exist so that bob takes it and alice wins but what is that threshold point at what turn this turn changes because here alice wins here also alice wins but here bob is winning right there should be one point where the deviation happens so how do we actually make it faster we try it through binary search binary search means just random man nothing like uh, we are not doing some binary search through this we are just doing through our mind so let's say that for 10 we uh, alice takes 8 and bob takes 2 we'll take for 5 5 let's see 1 2 3 4 5 what will alice do leaving 2 alone he takes all these 3 now bob will take 2 alice again wins because alice is unable to make the move okay 5 is also working what is the half of 5 you go for 2 2 it's already done 3 is also bob now only number that is left is 4 let's try for 4 also 1 2 3 4 now what will alice do alice won't take 3 here because if he takes 3 bob will be left with 1 these are different so automatically bob wins because he is unable to make the move so worst case like alice is gonna take these two and bob is lucky here bob is also taking two alice is forced to pick this two and this two now what happens four is the only number that is left bob is unable to make the move so bob wins so what did we observe here if it is two if it is three if it is four always bob wins but if it is greater than or equal to five through Alice's strategy by leaving Bob only two numbers and making sure Alice won't be able to move in the third move, make a move in the third move, Alice automatically wins. So what is it? If n is greater than or equal to 5, Alice wins. Else, simply you can print Bob. So that's it. Uh, the question is very trivial here. So it, the only thing is it requires a lot of observation and uh, that's all. Uh, so if you like the video, please comment down your thoughts and let's see in the next video.